Hi, it's Phoebe, and today we are going to talk about solar power and how it works. The first thing you need to know is that solar panels have two layers, the N layer and the P lever layer. I don't know who named it, but I think the N stands for negative and the P stands for positive. The N layer is on top and the P layer is on the bottom. Surrounding the two layers of metal is a protective glass covering, so I guess it's kind of like a giant solar sandwich. Make mine with bacon, please, haha. -ha. Okay, let's put the world of awful humor behind us. So the N layer is made out of the metal silicon, which has 14 electrons, and phosphorus, which contains 15 electrons. Because of the different number of electrons in each level, we end up with three full levels of electrons and the other one with one lonely electron. Now, that lonely electron is separate from all the other levels because it's more isolated. Therefore, we call it a free electron. This free electron is much more susceptible to energy because, remember, atoms always want to fill up their electron levels. So, when heat and energy from the sun hits this lonely electron, it gets supercharged up and wants to move somewhere. That's where the positive, or P-level, comes in. The P-level is made of a combination of silicon and boron. Boron has five electrons, and when you combine them, you find that the last level has only seven electrons. One is missing. Luckily, that lonely electron from the N-level is knocked by the sunlight onto the P-level, creating both an electrical current and a happy atom. However, that same energy shakes around the electrons on the outer layer of the P-level, and one electron is forced into the P-layer, and another one is knocked up into the N-level, creating a flowing circuit. Since electricity, by definition, is the movement of charged particles, the sun knocking around the electrons in a circuit creates energy that is able to power our world.